So can you subscribe? Go ahead and subscribe for me. Just subscribe and like. Nothing in it for you. Really nothing at all. But it's all for me. So subscribe, like, do it now. It's right down there. One of these buttons. All you have to do is subscribe. It's really easy. Just do it now. Subscribe. Would you subscribe? Subscribe, subscribe. They asked me to tell you to do what? I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So I think it's time again for another Adam Kinzinger uh, video. So we're going to ask about Adam Kinzinger. I've got some uh, a little bit of a new script, a little bit of an old script, and uh, some good pictures. And yes, I cut my hair a lot. So we're going to see what's going on with uh, Adam. And uh, what I have from Wiki is as follows. So in 1978, Adam Daniel Kinzinger was born in Kankakee, Illinois, on February 27th. So he's Pisces. Uh, his mom was an elementary school teacher and his father a CEO of, of faith-based organizations. Uh, after spending part of his youth in Jacksonville, Florida, which is actually where I'm from, he was uh, primarily raised in Bloomington, uh, Bloomington, Illinois. He's currently an American military officer and a, public, and a Republican politician serving as a U.S. representative uh, for Illinois. Now, in 1996, he graduated from Normal Community West High School. Normal places a city in Illinois. In 1998, at the age of uh, 20, while a student at Illinois State, he ran for the McLean County, uh, F, ran to be a McLean County uh, board member and won as one of the youngest county board members in the county's history. And now, in this, so that's at 20. In 2000, Adam earned a bachelor's degree in political science from Illinois State University, and after graduation, he was an intern for a U.S. senator. In uh, 2003, Kinzinger joined the United States Air Force and was and was a uh, second lieutenant and awarded his pilot wings. He was a KC-135 Stratotanker pilot, uh, flying missions in South. America, Guam, Iraq, and Afghanistan. Then he switched to the uh, aircraft, the uh, RC-26 surveillance aircraft uh, in Iraq, and he did that twice. He served in the Special Operations Command, the Air Combat Command, Air Mobility Command, and the Wisconsin uh, Air National Guard. Uh, 2006, the, the uh, Wisconsin Red Cross named him Hero of the Year, and what he did was he wrestled a knife-wielding man to the ground and disarmed him. The man had cut the throat of a woman on a street in downtown Milwaukee. Uh, Kinzinger said the whole time it was to me kind of a done deal that I was going to get stabbed in the process, but I knew um, this wasn't something I could wake up every day uh, with uh, the memory that I had watched her die. The woman survived. Uh, for, for this, Kinzinger received the United States Air Force Airman's Medal and the National Guard's uh, Valley Forge Cross for Heroism. In 2009, he met uh, these congressmen, Mike Pence, Mark Kirk, and Peter Roscom, to discuss running for Congress. And he ran for Illinois' 11th congressional, congressional District and won the primary. In 2010, he was first elected to Congress. In 2011, Adam was ranked among the 50 most beautiful people list on Capitol Hill. And then in 2014, he won the general election. In 2016, Kinzinger won the Republican Party primary with 100% of the vote and announced he would not support 45. You know who I mean by 45? Because, he says, I'm an American before I'm a Republican, and Republicanism is the best way to defend the USA. Uh, 2017, he voted to repeal the Affordable, Affordable Care Act. Now, in 2020, Kinzinger became engaged to a former aide to John Boehner. She was also a former aide to uh, the vice president, and they married. Uh, that was before he was the vice president, I think. Uh, and they married. He uh, denounced QAnon and other baseless conspiracy theories. He was one of 10 Republicans who voted to impeach 45 for incitement of insurrection and one of only two Republicans voting to create a select uh, committee. 
uh, on in 2021, he voted with all the Democrats to strip Marjorie Taylor Greene of her House committee assignments and called for Matt Gates to resign, who was being investigated on sex trafficking charges. Now, Adam joined all the Democrats approving establishment of that January 6th commission to investigate the storming of the U.S. Capitol. And the day after the storming of the U.S. Capitol, he was the first Republican to call for 45's removal via the 25th Amendment, saying 45 abdicated his duty. He had become unmoored from reality and urged the VP and the cabinet to invoke the 25th Amendment. Adam urged the VP and the cabinet to invoke the 25th Amendment because 45 was unfit and unwell. Kinzinger voted to create a commission to investigate the January 26th uh, attack and accepted P Speaker Pelosi's appointment to the committee. Now, when MTG, you know who I'm talking about, that crazy woman, hung a sign outside her office and the sign said, uh, "There are in this country there are two genders, male and female, trust the science. And she did this because the Republican representative's office across from hers, across the hall, had hung a transgender flag outside of her own office because her daughter is transgender. Then Kinzinger tweeted about this whole thing uh, about Green, saying, This is sad, and I'm sorry this happened. This garbage must end. Uh, he announced that there was no doubt 45 broke his oath of office and incited the insurrection. Quote, If these actions are not worthy of impeachment, then what is? Now, 11 members of his own family, Adam's own family, um, who he described as suffering from brainwashing from conservative churches, asserted that Adam had joined the devil's army in turning against 45. And then Kinzinger had voted with Trump 90% of the time and against uh, the first impeachment. So that's what I have uh, really quickly on Adam Kinzinger, and now we'll see what the cards say. Okay, so I got these great cards and if you ever doubted that I'm a sucker for a great packaging of cards, then this will confirm it. So these cards are by famed artist Salvador Dali. He includes himself in uh, the cards and his wife, and they also include uh, examples of some of his artwork and other uh, artists uh, that, that he felt were appropriate for the, for the interpretation. Uh, these cards were created uh, or were um, commissioned in 1973 for the uh, film uh, Live and Let Die. However, uh, Dolly's um, uh, price was, I guess, too much. So contract uh, negotiations broke down. And then finally, 10 years later, by 1984, Dolly completed the tarot deck, 78 cards, and had them published for the first time, limited edition. And now Toshin has re-printed um, uh, these cards in this amazing uh, box. So when I ordered them, I thought I'd get a box, you know, about this big. And when this thing came in the mail... I was totally shocked. They're not cheap. They're quite expensive. But anyway, so this is an amazing cover. This box is like a, a crushed velvet uh, kind of finish here. And it's just everything, everything, everything that gets me going about tarot card uh, containers, if you can't tell from my excitement. So, and then there's lots on the back here. It's in three different languages. It's in uh, Spanish, in German, and in English. And then the way this thing opens up, it's just like this. And once you get inside... You've got this amazing booklet uh, to describe uh, how uh, something about the cards and how to use them. The booklet is a full color, and then each page has three interpretations of the card. But I say interpretations, I mean that's English, uh, German, and Spanish. So, um, lovely, lovely book. Amazing. I mean, the price of the cards was, was the, the price that I paid for this was worth it if I only got this book. The one uh, problem I have with it, however, is that it's beautiful, but the first part of this uh, book is uh, a lot that talks about uh, Dolly and how the cards came to be. And as you can see, it's on this dark purple with this gold printing, and I can barely, barely make it out. I'm going to have to use my magnifying glass eventually to read it, but uh, not today. And uh, so I've had these for a few days, and I've been uh, practicing with them. I haven't tried to decipher this yet. It's just too dark, and I've got uh, vision problems that make it just even more complicated. But when you finally get to where they're talking about the cards themselves, it's fantastic because you've got a white background, easy to read. It's a little small, but still it's easy to read because they've, they've gotten everything on one page. And uh, amazing, amazing, amazing. Um, I'm so glad I got this. It was on a whim. Now the cards look and how they're displayed. The cards themselves come in this really cool gold foil kind of, it's a typical box for tarot cards, but just the design is terrific. And then the cards themselves, I'll take them out here, put the box back, and well, I'll keep this out. And then I'll put this away. But I'll show you the cards 
quickly um, before we go any further. And I guess I'll have to leave this here so we have something to, to, to look at. And then uh, here, when you get into the inner sanctum, there's no more uh, instructions inside here. It's just this cool uh, foiled uh, box. And then the cards themselves are terrific. The back is a really beautiful uh, foil looking design. It's not foil, but it's a gold design. And this just simply says Dolly over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. That's the back of the cards. The cards themselves are amazing. So, like I say, they have included some of uh, uh, snippets of Dolly's work and some other artists. And if I was more studious, I would have really studied that and have something to tell you uh, more concrete. But um, they're just absolutely beautiful. On the Magician, you can see uh, Salvador Dali is the face of the Magician. If I find it quickly, I'll show it to you. And on the uh, Empress, that's his wife, uh, Gala, but, uh, which I don't see right away. But um, they're terrific cards. I can't wait to use them. And so there's where we're at. You know, I, I make these, uh, this mess of the cards like this uh, so that uh, you can get a chance to see different cards more completely than just the few uh, cards that a, a, a reader might pull up in, the, in a reading and, um, and enjoy that. And then like I always say, if you're working with someone, I always think it's a good idea to have them spread the cards out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards. And then you know um, that they've got a, a stake in the, in the reading. So Salvador Dali, amazing, worth every penny I paid for these. So, Adam Kinzinger, what is the story today with you, Mr. Adam Kinzinger? Do I have these cards upside down? Or, or okay, this is the correct way. Oh, boy. It's amazing. So, just him and Liz are the Republicans on that uh, committee. And um, I know I did a reading on Adam recently, so let's do this one and see what these cards tell us. Um, I don't know. How can it be that so few uh, Republicans are willing to uh, stand up for the truth um, I just I just don't understand so this just tells you you know just because someone has been elected to office or maybe because they've been elected to office you better do double duty on trusting what they're telling you and what they're saying and making sure that they get uh, uh, things the way you want them they represent us they don't represent themselves but it appears that once they get into office you know a lot of these people this is the most money they've ever made and they don't know how to um, make this uh, this salary uh, other than staying in office. You know, it's not that they make a fortune. They certainly are uh, solidly, uh, probably, I guess, maybe upper middle class, but um, but it's amazing. Jim Jordan, for instance, you know, he's a, a, a coach, a wrestling coach. You think he's going to make a fortune? No, he's making good money in Congress and with great benefits. And uh, then there's all the donations that I don't know how they use all that, that money, but there's that. And obviously, Trump knows because he's raising up. But Adam Kinzinger, let's get off of that. Adam Kinzinger, Adam, 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 Adam Kinzinger, what's going on for you, Adam? What do you expect to happen? And it may be that Adam and Liz become the new uh, face of the Republican Party. So let's just spread the cards and see what they tell us about Adam. And you know, that one card wanted to jump out, so I'm going to take it. That's one, two, three, four, five. And six, Adam Kinzinger. Adam Kinzinger. So, voted one of the prettiest people on Capitol Hill. <laughs> so, the signifier card for Adam, okay, this is a good card for him because this is the um, Ace of uh, Pentacles, uh, the Ace of Coin, Pentacles, yeah. And uh, so, this is a big offer. You know, the Ace is always like the beginning, perhaps, of a cycle or um, a big uh, offer of some value, even actually money. I was just talking about money, as a matter of fact. So, yeah, so he, he signified as the Ace of Coin. So, does this mean uh, re referring to his salary in Congress, or is this talking about his value as a person or as a congressman? Let's see what the challenge to it is. The challenge to this uh, Ace of uh, Pentacles is the four of wands and you see them right here one two three four of wands and if you look closer you can see inside this card these folks are having a nice little celebration here so i like to take my clues uh, on these divinations you know right from the cards with a you know backup of the um uh, definitions that i that i use for them so the challenge to uh this uh, big offer of value this ace of coins is uh the four pentacles which is a and uh of sorry of wands which are uh, action movement uh planning and uh, in this case, I believe they're celebrations. So small celebrations is a challenge to this uh, Ace 
of Pentacles. Let's see what the next card tells us and see if we start to get a story here. The, um, the base of this reading then, for Adam Kinzinger, okay, now we're starting to get somewhere, is the, the Hanged Man. And the Hanged Man is, is having to stand back and, and really look at something from another perspective. It's usually not a, a life-threatening hanging, so to speak. You know, this fellow's dangling by his foot, um, you know, with some effort he could uh, bend over, pull himself up. He's not constrained. But this gives him a chance to look at the world from an other point of view. And uh, so if you consider Republicans are looking at the world one way and Democrats are looking at the world another way, this could very well be Adam looking at, at, at the world through another lens. And hopefully not even a Democratic lens, just a clearer, uh, non-fogged lens that so many of the Republicans seem to have right now. So that's the base. The past of this reading then is uh, how many is this now? This is one, two, three, four, five, six. And I should have known because it's got the little little skiff here, the little boat. This is a six of swords, and the six of boards of swords is typically you know moving out of troubled water. I like that, especially for the past of this reading for Adam, because uh, he has been in troubled water, and I think he's been steadily moving forward out of troubled water. I love the fact that he saved a woman from a, a knife wielding guy who had actually already cut her throat at his own uh, at risk to himself. I mean, that speaks to the uh, the quality of the guy, I think. So that's the past. In the sky of this reading is uh, the hermit. And certainly he is the hermit right now. He is standing alone just with Liz Cheney and whoever are those silent members of the Republican Party. But he's, he's the hermit. He's looking to shine a light to determine what is the way forward. And this little face inside this this uh, hermit here could even be a kind of an aged uh, Adam uh, Kinzinger uh, for me. So let's put this uh, ace down a little bit so I can work in this other card and make sure that it shows up nicely on the camera, I hope. Because actually when I'm doing this, I can't see how this is ap appearing on the camera. Uh, it's just being taken from above and I can just see what's in front of me. Now the uh, likely outcome of all of this is the fool. I love it. So this is great. El Loco. The fool represents starting a new journey. That's what I'm doing. I'm starting a journey uh, through uh, the world of tarot and uh, trying to learn my way around. So thanks for coming along with me, by the way. But the likely outcome of this first part of this Celtic cross is the fool, which is uh, new uh, beginnings. So to try to put it all together again, we've got the, his self is the ace of coins. So I'm going to say that he values his self. He recognizes his value and he acknowledges it. He is the Ace of Coin, and he's um, challenged by small celebrations. I'm going to say, um, still unclear about what these small celebrations could be, but, um, and I'm going to see, let me look and see if I've got a different um, um, divination for that. Achievement, satisfaction, romance, festivities, peace, and planning. Challenged by, well, I don't know, I guess the celebrations perhaps, and I can stretch it to this, that the Republican Party seems to be taking in their little insane little victories along the way. So he's challenged by that. Let's leave it there. Then the base of the reading was a hangman, which is absolutely him looking at things from a different perspective, being in that uh, January 6th committee with all those Democrats. And in the past, you've got him, the, the Six of Swords moving out of troubled waters, correct. And in the sky, you've got him as the hermit, yes, correct, among the Republican Party. And then uh, for the uh, outcome of this first part of this Celtic cross is the fool starting on a new journey. So, so far, so good. Now let's see what we get for the self of Adam Kinzinger right now. And I hope the cards can reveal something really, really telling to us about um, what's going to happen here. The self of Adam Kinzinger right now is temperance. Well, if he's not temperance right now, what else can he be? Because he's really having to balance his Republican uh, uh, roots against finding the truth about what happened on January 6th, which, of course, I hope you feel like I do, that Trump just was trying to overtake the government. Amazing. Um, now, the environment that this temperance is in, this balancing is in, as demonstrated by, you know, this you know, tempering the water between the cups. Um, and I just realized today, I asked someone if they understood what temperance was, and they didn't quite get it. And, you know, you temper something, and many of you will know this, but I'll say it anyway, because maybe there's a few who don't quite get it. Let's say you have a, a, a bottle of, of a cup of cold water and a cup of hot water, and you, and you want to um, oh, it's better to talk about it with eggs. So say so you've got a bowl of uh, scrambled eggs and a bowl of hot milk, and you wanted to incorporate the two. If you pour the hot milk directly into the eggs, they're going to start to cook and become scrambled eggs. But if you pour a little bit of milk in there at a time, get it tempered in there, get it mixed in so that it cools down to the temp, and keep doing that tempering a little bit more, a little bit more, and you finally get both things at the same temperature, the same temperance. So that's what he's trying to do right now, get these eggs not to scramble. Um, the, um, 
the environment that that's in. Is that where I'm at? Yeah, I'm so lost. The environment that that's in, the tempering of Adam of that Adam Kinzinger is attempting, uh, is in, look at that even more balancing. So this is the two of coin, the two of pentacles, and it is a balancing act with these two of pentacles. It's exactly the same thing I was just talking about. That's pretty amazing when stuff like this happens to me. Anyway, I feel like the cards are listening to me. Somehow I've connected with the universe, and the, the message is coming through. It's just kind of validating what I was talking about. That's pretty amazing. I don't know if you find it amazing, but I do. And remember, this is the fool. I'm going to leave it up here. Well, I'll pull the fool out there so you can see. And I can change it in a minute if I need to. Um, the uh, hopes and the fears of all of this, uh, then, is a uh, king of coins. King of coins. Now, how am I going to... So the king of coins is... Uh, the coins, of course, is value. It could even be money. It's worth. It's something that is important. And the king of, of coins in this hope and the fears, the king is, is the fellow who absolutely is in charge of his value. He knows what his worth is. And he, he is not... Uh, um, not a fool, you know, he, he is, look at that, he is, uh, he's the one who knows how to uh, uh, dispense or use his value, okay, that worked out, and then the um, likely outcome of the whole thing, you know, I'm going to take it right from here, and let's see what this, so the likely outcome of this whole uh, thing, which is Adam's participation in this investigation, and trying to temper, um, you know, his Republican Party against uh, what he knows to be the truth, is, oh, look at this. This is very good. So this is the three of wands. You know, wands are planning, uh, motion, forward movement, and um, and this three of wands typically pretends to us of long-term planning. It could be overseas planning or long distance, but I like to think this is long-term planning. And it's even, uh, Dolly has been so smart, and thank you, uh, spirits, for, for getting giving me this, uh, this uh, interpretation, to include a couple of uh, butterflies right here, which are significant of uh, uh, reinvention, you know, or being a reborn. And so the likely outcome of this whole thing is long-term planning. So maybe that could involve his own long-term planning for his career uh, in government or, um, or uh, you know, that's what I'm going to stick with. He's, he's doing this with an eye to how this will affect him in, uh, in the long-term planning of the Republican Party. And I think that's exactly what's going on there. I think he sees a chance here to become a leader uh, in this party and, uh, and also get at the truth at the same time. Perfect. So just like always, I'll go over it again, and thank you everyone for not laughing at my haircut. And this is actually professionally done. I didn't do this myself. I went to a, a, a barber shop and said, just do me a number two and a number four, and this is what I got. So it'll grow back, I guess. So uh, here we go. Uh, to recap everything that we just talked about. So I said, what is the signifier for Adam Kinzinger? And it's the ace of coin. He understands his value, or he comes to us with a big offer of value, with the knowledge, okay? One of those two. But then the uh, challenge to that was right here in this four of wands, which are small celebrations. So the challenge to knowing your value maybe is that you have to take the small celebrations along the way. There are times when you know your value and it brings you a big reward. But I think in this case, you've got to go with the little small uh, celebrations along the way to get you where you want to go. But the basis of the reading was perfect because it's the hanged man. And that's the fellow who's taken a minute to look at something from another point of view. And if that's not what he's doing in this committee, I mean, what else, what else could it be? Uh, the past of the reading, then, was the um, Six of Swords, which is uh, moving out of troubled waters. And that's certainly what we hope uh, happens here, is we move out of troubled waters. And it's certainly um, him, too, I'm, I'm sure. And then the sky of the reading was perfect, because we're talking about the hermit. And he's certainly alone, but he's trying to shine that light. Here's the light. He's trying to shine that light on the issues that are in front of him to find the correct way to go. And then the likely outcome of the, of the whole thing was then the fool, which is the beginning of a new journey. I mean, that's exactly what it is. So, so then we say, what's the self of Adam right now? And that turned out to be temperance. And I went into this long dissertation about what's temperance and how do you temperance and milk and, 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 and eggs. And what happens? I get uh, <laughs> the two of coins, which is kind of a re-explanation of temperance. So yeah, so the whole thing. So he's trying to temper this, he's in, and he's in the atmosphere of something that needs tempering. So the January 6th, and this tells me that the January 6th committee is concerned with getting to the truth, not some kind of lopsided truth. <coughs> Then the uh, hopes and the fears of the whole thing is the king of coins. I hope that you come out of this as a king of your value, of, of really uh, the most uh, worth that's possible. And I think the whole thing, besides getting at the truth, is for Adam, uh, a look to this three of wands, which is long-term planning, a look to his long-term planning in government, I think. What do you think? That's more important, actually. I'm Mark, my journey through tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. Thank <laughs> you.